Hello, happy Monday and happy last week of PhD research before Christmas. So yes, today is the last week that the university is open before Christmas time. So I'm going to be using this week to do some more HPLC purification, just try and get as much work done as possible without burning myself to the core and try and keep those positive vibes going and try and get through the week. And before we know it, it will be Christmas. So come along on this journey with me. This is my HPLC for the day. So I'm going to fill up the mobile phase bottles and then I am gonna start purifying my sample. First of all, I actually need to check if my sample is dried in the freeze dryer. So my sample is in here and I don't know if that looks dried to be honest. Need to open it up and have a look. My sample is liquid. Ugh. So now I'm going to need to put my sample, I don't know, back into the freezer to freeze and then try to freeze dry it again, I guess. I think it melted when it went into the system and that's why it's not actually freeze dried because it wasn't frozen it and melted. Anyway, I'm going to start this back up again and then Hopefully it'll work, but this is a sample that I was going to use today, so not very useful. Put this back on. The harsh reality of doing natural products work. This is the weight of my vial. This is the weight of my sample from the HPLC isolation. There is literally nothing there. This was the vial from that I showed you guys in the last video at the end of the video from the round bottom flask where it looked like there was a nice compound and now yeah I don't know where it's gone okay I take it back there is something in the vial I'm gonna do the NMR and hopefully we have something nice keep your fingers crossed I have put the sample back inside and hopefully this time it does not melt and it actually freeze dries so here goes <laughs> Now, little NMR tube, please give me a pure compound. Please give me a pure compound. It's going in. It's going in. So while my NMR sample is running, I thought I would just explain something not very fun, which has happened. So basically, I put my USB stick into my laptop and it's not recognized. So all my files on my USB stick cannot be accessed. So thankfully last week I transferred a lot of the, the data and a lot of the files to my laptop but now I need to transfer all of the NMR data to my USB stick again then to my laptop and I need to reprocess all of the data because it's all gone. So that's fun, at least there is a backup of that data on a different computer. Um, but yeah, I just need to go and reference everything and process all the data again which is a little bit annoying. It could be worse, I'm trying to keep the positive vibes up. Why are things going wrong in the last week? Yes, my NMR sample is on. Let's pray for a pure compound. Copying my data back over. <sighs> Honestly, what a panic I had this morning when I thought that I'd lost all my files, but good job past Jessica for actually backing everything up. Woohoo! I just had a sneak peek at the NMR and it's not a pure compound. I got my hopes up and yeah, there's a tiny, tiny amount, as I showed you earlier. And yeah, it's not pure. The peaks are rubbish. Ah, positive vibes. <laughs> positive vibes. Hello, friends. I want to keep things very honest and transparent on here. So today's been a little bit overwhelming. I think the main problem was that I gave myself too big of a to-do list and I wasn't prioritizing my tasks very well. So I was beginning to get overwhelmed by this big to-do list and not knowing what to do first. And it just kind of caused me to shut down and panic a little bit. This is the problem I'm facing with having still 
quite a few things to do and trying to get them all done before the Christmas holidays, which I have now managed to reassure myself that not everything needs to be done before the Christmas holidays. So yes, I had quite a stressy moment earlier and had a bit of a breakdown, but we're back on track now. The HPLC is running. I made a list of things I need to get done today, aka the HPLC, because I only have the HPLC booked for today, and things that can wait until tomorrow. And I found that this has really helped me to just take a breath relax a little bit and prioritize the tasks that I really need to get done. This is the difficult thing when you can only use instruments once a week because you really need to make the most of the time that you have on that instrument and if things start to go a little bit wrong then panic and stress does set in. Anyway, I'm going back to the HPLC. It seems to be going well, which is good and I will tune in with you guys either later today or tomorrow. Hello, it is Tuesday. I have been in the lab for a few hours now. It's just before 12 o'clock. And what did I do this morning? So I started drying some of my samples from the HPLC purification. I also washed the HPLC system ready for the next person coming in at nine o'clock. And I should have been doing some edits for my paper, but motivational levels are not very high once again. Yeah, I think it's just the last week of uh, university being open kind of vibes where it's too close to Christmas to actually want to get things done. So to try and combat that, I'm going to dry my samples for a little bit longer and then I'm going to go home and work on the paper edits from home because yes, I am not getting anything actually productive done here today. Anybody else been feeling the relaxed vibes up until Christmas? I'm still feeling very tired and yeah I think tomorrow is going to be my last day in the lab because your girl needs a break. Anyway I'm gonna go check on my drying, maybe we'll go see what everyone's up to in the lab and then I will resume the filming at home when I start editing my paper. I spotted my number one fan. <laughs> Gagan's watching my videos. Thanks, Gagan. I was saying you're my number one fan watching my videos. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Hello, 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 good morning. It is Wednesday and today is my last day of being in the lab. So I do not think I will be here all day today, to be honest. I'm just going to be tidying things up, drying some things that I would like to try and get dry before the holidays, maybe do an NMR of my peak I collected from the HPLC on Monday. We're gonna go check that out in a second. And yes, maybe today I will work on the paper. In all honesty, yesterday I went home, I did not work on the paper because the positive vibes were not flowing yesterday. I was very tired and just feeling a bit stressed and ugh, <laughs> it's the only way to explain it. Uh, yeah, I think just as everything's changing every day about the Omicron, situation. It's making me stressed. But anyway, today is a better day. Today is going to be a day of positivity. We're going to get some stuff dried. We're going to maybe get an animar and we are going to work on the paper today, whether it's in the lab or whether it's at home. I am going to finish this paper. Yeah, so today is going to be my last day. I was thinking during the holidays, I'm going to try and keep my laptop off and not, you know, do any bits and bobs. I might work on the paper here and there if I have some time and I'm, you know, wanting to work, but I am no way going to force myself to do any work over the Christmas holidays. I'm going to avoid it as much as possible, have a proper reset, properly switch off and get some rest is the most important thing I think. Some exciting news to share. So I checked my emails when I woke up this morning and the conference that I'm supposed to be going to in California in March, there is like a seminar before the main conference which is for early career researchers to share their work and there's 10 speakers which will be invited uh, according to the abstracts that people have submitted and I have been invited to speak at the, the seminar. So I'm so excited. Yeah, I sent an email to my PI and also one of the other PIs in the lab because my second supervisor is in a completely different department, different school, and we don't uh, catch up that often. And Reiner, one of uh, the lab PIs, he replied saying really, really nice words, basically being like, with everything going on this year, you've had a very successful year. And you know what? It made me reflect because I have been feeling recently like I've not had a successful year in terms of my lab work and my results, but He's right, I've had success in other places throughout my PhD this year. I've won multiple prizes for posters and presentations. I've secured grant funding to go traveling next year. And I've been accepted to speak at this conference as well. So yeah, there's been quite a few things actually that 
I need to give myself a bit more credit that even though maybe I've not got the results that I wanted this year, I have done a lot actually and I've worked very hard and I should give myself a little pat on the back for what I have managed to achieve this year. Oh, how can we forget the bioassay? I developed a whole bioassay on my own with limited time in the lab because of the university restrictions and everything as well. So that was a big achievement that I should really celebrate this year as well. Let's go and have a look at my sample in the nitrogen dryer. Let's see if it's dry. Let's take the weight and see if it's worth doing an NMR or not. So my sample is not dry yet, as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to leave it in until later this afternoon or until tomorrow. And there will be no NMR today, which might be a good thing because maybe I'll get annoyed if the NMR is not good. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it back inside the nitrogen dryer. Hello, hello, hello. You might be able to hear my dog downstairs crying, but I'm home now. I went to the gym after the lab and I'm now finished in the lab until the new year. So that makes me very, very happy because, yeah, my relationship with the lab was beginning to not be too good. But yes, I'm at my computer now. I'm going to start doing the edits for my paper and hopefully get it done this afternoon. So I have went through the majority of the comments that my supervisor had given me on the paper, but I'm just trying to rewrite some of the things and to um, add in some more details. So I've made a new Word document and I'm going to start working in there because it gets quite messy with all the comments and stuff um, if you try to do it all in the one document. Hello guys, so it's currently 20 past four and I've managed to do the majority of the edits for the paper. I've inserted one of the figures, which I can show you. This is one of my figures for the paper. I have another figure coming, my good friend Sarah, who actually made the design of the intro and ending screen. You know, it says my PhD in me and it has the moving symbol. She made that for me. And she's also making me a figure for my paper, which is really exciting. So I'm waiting for her to finish that. I also need to add some bits to the conclusion section and I need to finish a very small section of the paper but I need my boyfriend's help because it's about engineering and he's an engineer and I know nothing about engineering so that will have to wait yeah so until then I'm finished for the year thank you guys so much again for tuning into this week's vlog I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and I will be back with the vlogs and the videos in the new year thanks for watching bye